Hey guys, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. We have a quick uh, uh, tip today. We're going to help Brent with a question he had. He had a small data set here, and whenever he opens this user form, I'll drag it to the correct monitor, basically his problem is whenever he clicks on, let's say there's the name Dan Adler, and there's also the name Dan uh, Knuth or Dan Knuth. These are all sample, you know, fake names. If you click on Dan Adler, it grabs the information from Dan Knuth, uh, which also you can see if you click on Dan Knuth, it doesn't matter which Dan you click on, it'll select the bottommost one. There's a couple reasons for that. Number one, <clears throat> we're only doing a comparison of the first name. And number two, uh, it's actually, uh, it, it's, it is selecting the first name and populating these but then the loop doesn't stop. It keeps looking for the next instance of the name Dan and it finds it again and it always lands on the very last one because it keeps repeating the action. So the first thing we need to do is actually stop it once it's found the very first instance. The second thing we really need to do is we need to take the second column of this list box or the last name field into consideration. We can't just have um, one name uh, if there's two names or duplicates possibly. So let's get to work. Hit Alt F11 and let's follow along here. So I've kind of tabbed this out a little bit um, so that we can see the code here. But essentially we're going to go ahead and run the user form and I put a, you notice I put a breakpoint or a stop marker um, right there. I put the little red dot by clicking on this gray line here so that it stops right here at the very beginning of the list box one click um, event. So we're going to hit F8, list box one, or excuse me, text box one equals list box one. Um, <clears throat> really, I want to also get the, the, the second detail, which is the last name, but we can do that in a second. So this is text box one, and we're just grabbing that information so that we can use it here in a second. So let me get this back up. All right, so for each, uh, he just put a random variable there. For each whatever in um, C1 through C gazillion, whatever it may be. So the first one says f first name. That does not equal text box, so we're not going to worry about that one. Now this next one um, says Dan, and so does this one. So he's comparing uppercase Dan to uppercase Dan and this one will be a match so <clears throat> yes uh, he's actually selecting the cell manually and uh, putting all the information into these text boxes based on the offset of that cell so as you can see behind me uh, we're we're able to populate those so if I hit F8 a few times right after this step is kinda where we wanna just exit the loop so uh, excuse me exit 4 so this will exit the for loop uh, whenever we're done with it so that we don't have to loop through the other possibly thousands or tens of thousands of rows. So once we found what we want, we want to exit the for loop and we're done. That way the Dan Adler instead of the Dan Nuth is populated. Second thing we really should do <clears throat> is uh, take into consideration the last name. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, uh, let me click on that and then go back to Dan Adler. So I clicked on it again. We have a breakpoint. Let's just put a variable, uh, a local a string, and we're going to call this uh, last name. <clears throat> and that's going to be equal to, so we're going to do me.listbox1.list. And <clears throat> the list is what we're going to kind of run against. Uh, then we're going to take me.listbox one dot uh, list index. The list index is the actual selection number. It's an index number of whichever one we clicked on. Comma, and this this is kind of interesting. We're going to use column one <clears throat> because column zero is actually where the word Dan is, and column one is where the the word Adler is. So we want column one. So let's hit F8. So text box one contains the first name Dan, and LS last name now contains the word Adler. So then, whenever we're doing our uh, <coughs> comparison, we're going to need to take 
Uh, B U L is the is going to be the first name field in a moment. So right now it says Dan. <clears throat> so we need to do a string convert. Uh, well, I'll, he's doing an uppercase str convert. You could also just use the uh, uh, U case function. So I think I'll do that here. If this equals that and U case ls last name equals the uppercase of we're going to take the bul dot offset and we're going to offset it uh, zero rows up or down and one column to the right that should get us the last name All right, so let's analyze that a little bit here. In fact, I don't know if you can do an offset like that. I feel like you can. So I'm going to do a question mark and just see. Yeah, it's coming in as Adler in the immediate window. I did a question mark to debug print whatever I wanted to test, and it came back, back as Adler. So on the worksheet, that cell uh, offset to the right is, is the last name. And uh, U case of LS last name should be equal. So we have an actual match of the first name and last name. So it's going to go through and populate all this stuff and then exit the loop so that we're done completely. That way, it will actually give us Dan Newth as well as Dan Adler. It'll differentiate based on the last name column as well. Anyway, that's how that works. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.